hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm kenny in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how i make how i fry my egg fish which is called panla in nigeria if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so this is the fish i'm gonna be using like i said it's called egg or panla it's the really big one I'm gonna I took it out of the freezer yesterday and I left it out for it to defrost overnight so it will be easy for me to cut it and work with it this morning uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is rinse the eyes that is left on it I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm gonna use knife to scrape away the scales on the fish I'm just making sure that every part of the skill is scraped off so that we're not eating skill as we're eating the fish and I'm going to use the scissors I lost my kitchen scissors so I'm using these scissors for a while now and I'm going to use it to cut the fin and it does a good job of cutting it off so I'm going to cut the fin on both sides of the fish I'm going to repeat the same thing for the second fish as well scrape the scales and use the scissors to cut the fins I'm going to tidy that place up and um, wash the fish one more time. Then I'm going to start cutting it into pieces. I'm going to cut each fish into five pieces. That is what I go for. It's not really like equal. I just cut it out. I feel like I'm okay with it. I cut each fish into five pieces. And I start washing the inside of the fish to remove the dead and the intestine or what do we call that thing Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to rinse the fish one more time and start seasoning it. These are the things I'm going to be using to season it. Table salt, liquid maggi, which is liquid seasoning. Multipurpose seasoning is what is in that old time container. And my onion, ginger and garlic paste, which I'm going to show you how I make it in this minute. So this is my peeled and washed onion, ginger and garlic. I'm going to put it in the blender and add um, vegetable oil in it. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of water in there too. So it's easy for me to blend it. And this is what it looks like after blending it. It forms a paste which I can use in any meal I want to prepare or season fish and chicken and things like that. So I'm going to start seasoning the fish now. I'm adding a, a tiny bit of salt. The liquid seasoning, I prefer liquid seasoning to a uh, maggie that you have to crumb, um, like they have to break into crumbs. At times, it doesn't like enter the fish like liquid seasoning does. Then, I'm going to use the multi purpose seasoning as well, which I get from African shop, just like the liquid seasoning, too. I'm going to put it in the fish and the blended onion, garlic, and ginger paste. I'm going to put it in the fish as well and I'll mix everything together really well. Now let this sit for a couple of minutes for about 20 minutes while I do other things and I'll move into um, grilling it first. I always grill my fish first before frying it because when I grill it 
most of the water that is in the fish will come out and that way when i'm frying it it won't be splashing all over the place and even when i grill it it's like cooked halfway first before i start frying it like as, as you see here most of the water came out of the fish and also it's cooked halfway like it's cooked deeply more than it will cook if i just go right ahead to fry it so the grilling and um, the grilling not actually grew like oven i put it in the oven setting like when you're baking something so that is the setting i put the oven in the baking setting so that makes it like cook really really deeply then also the seasoning i use as time to really really enter the fish then i'm going to start frying it so i'm gonna start frying the fish now i'm gonna fry it in this oil right here it has that color because that is the oil i used to fry my fish once i'm done using it i'm gonna take it out of the pan and store it away and i always put this sieve inside the oil so it's easy um for me to scoop the fish out and shake it and turn it and so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan as well so i'm gonna put the fish like four three to four pieces pieces of the fish in the in the sieve in the oil and i'm gonna let it fry i put the it in five the highest is six so i put it in five so that it doesn't like cook in a rush it takes time to cook deeply because fish has to be really really properly and deeply cooked before you eat it and also it takes time for fish to fry and cook really well so i ensure that it cooks deeply that is the reason that is one of the reasons I like to grill it first before frying it so i'm gonna let it sit in the oil for a couple of minutes like sit in there really really well for it to fry really really well and cook really really well so once i notice that it's cooked really well i'm gonna shake it a couple of times and if need be i'm going to turn it because i use a little a lot of oil so at times i don't need to turn it because the oil has already covered all of the fishes then i'm going to let it cook and fry really well until it turns like golden brown And once it turns golden brown and i'm liking what i'm seeing i'm going to take it out of the oil let most of the oil drip back into the pot and take it away so i'm repeating the same thing right now i'm putting the another batch of the fishes in there and letting it cook fry really well and i'm going to shake it a couple of times and take it out as well And this is the last batch of the fish, the one that contains two tails and one middle one, the flat one. So I'm going to let that like cook really well as well. So this is all of the fishes after i've fried everything it's deeply cooked well fried nothing is broken there and everything just looks really nice and good and this is it as you can see it cooks really really well up to the last bit in the inside and you can use it to drink gary use it as it can eat it as a snack or put it in your food or use it to drink gary my favorite way of eating this fish and i'm gonna put it in my multi-purpose soup my umyobe <laughs> i'm gonna put some fishes in there and let them water like really get a soak of the, the stew i really get a soak of the stew and this is me using it to eat rice alongside chicken if you like to know how i make my chicken as well let me know in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave me a nice comment in the comment section below bye guys